Okay, made it through another week and I'm going to get into my shave this morning. I'm going back to when I very first started wet shaving and uh, I was doing my homework and this kept popping up. Shop for it on Amazon.com and got it in the mail. I bought the Host Series and it lathers up real good. I use mainly soaps, but this morning I'm using a cream. Uh, believe it or not, my face is a little sensitive. Taylor of Bond Street, Jeremiah Street series, collection, Germain Street series. Smells good. I'll, be follow, I'll follow it up with the, um, the aftershave lotion. Again, it's for sensitive skin. I don't have a lot, I don't have sensitive skin, but Right now, my face is a little sensitive for some reason. After this shave, I'll probably go a couple days without shaving. Um, been soaking in my scuttle. Yeah, y'all see that? <laughs> Steam. My Parker got it right this time. Parker, 24 millimeter badger hair, silver tip. There's the old scuttle. Okay. I talk about the pre-shave that I make. It's nothing more than Noxzema corn huskers. Two parts of this, which I did two tablespoons to one tablespoon. Mixed it together and I put it in my what was Parasso pre-shave cream. Use the same container. It serves the same purpose. Virtually identical. So I think I've got about six tablespoons of the Noxzema to three tablespoons of the corn huskers all mixed in there together. People who use Taylor Bond Street, I don't have any True Fit and Heal creams or any other creams for that. Well, I do have creams uh, in tubes, and I've got one other Taylor Bond Street, but it does not take very much. I'll do a face lather this morning. I've got the grapefruit, which I enjoy. Always, when I use it, I follow it up with a fine Italian citrus. Man, that's a good aftershave. And due to uh, the cost of ingredients or lack of it, I understand he's not making it anymore. So if you can get your hands on some fine Italian citrus, you better jump on it. Hope everybody had a good week and are looking forward to the weekend. And today I'll be using my Boker King Cutter 5 Ace Full Hollow. Here's to the weekend.
See, that's double. For those wondering if it's cutting, most definitely. Okay, pass one. Okay, this one. Across the grain. Man, I get twisted in my words. Last video, I said I was using a Simpson brush and held up a Parker brush in front of the camera. It's because I was shopping for Simpson brushes all day and that was on my mind. But I got it on order this morning. thing I like about ordering from Phoenix, they're fast as far as uh, I ordered it today. I expect to see it in the mail on Monday, no later than Tuesday. Yeah, these bokers, well, I've only got one, this boker king cutter, but it's really a easy shaving razor and does a good job. Um, I like to get my hands on a Elvis. I really gotta pace myself. 
on what I order and purchase. I'm amazed how much product some of you people have in your shaving bin. If I ever do make it to London, I'd love to go to the Taylor of Bond Street Shaving Shop store. This has been there since 1854. This is a good feeling shave. And for a lot of people, with the exception of under here, that's plenty close. Again, I'm not going to shave for a couple days. Probably two, maybe even three. I just I feel like my face needs a break. But uh, when I shave, I like to go for the BBS. Can't go wrong with Taylor Bond Street shaving creams. I had their avocado. Probably some of y'all have it and you like it. But I passed it on to a friend of mine who absolutely loved it a whole lot more than I did. Creams I have is this one, the grapefruit. I've got Prasso cream in a tube, green. And I recently ordered a lemon one off of West Coast Shaving. Godry. It's pretty good and it's cheap. It's like the tube of the size of a toothpaste. And I'm using that in this summer. So, uh, against the grain, this be it. Got myself. Just gotta let it glide and I dug in.
one thing that aggravates me. If I'm done with my shave and shortly after I notice I miss spots maybe right along the corners of the mouth or the bottom of the lip. It's too late when you're at work and you notice that and then you got to deal with it all day. It's not a showstopper but it's aggravating. Fool's pass. Sometimes I've learned one of the things that uh, I need to improve in is keeping my face hydrated. Even though you got shaving cream on there, at least for me, uh, and, and I think I've got a pretty good um, consistency on loading my brush and how I put it to my face, but sometimes it'll start getting dry to where it'll pop, bounce across. No, you don't need that. Wife's cleaning the house. Touch up under the neck, and I'm I'm about there. Work in progress, here we go. There you have it. I can just make it a couple days without having a desire to shave. It's pretty hard to do. This will be good for my face.
Hope everybody has a great weekend. The weather's nice wherever it is you're from to be able to get outside. I'm just going to go straight to my shaving cream this morning. Or shaving lotion. It's really, uh, kind of goes on almost like a shaving cream or uh, aftershave. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, be safe this weekend. Um, enjoy it and live every day as if it was your last. And next thing you know, we'll be right back into the beginning of next week. So everyone have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.